My name is Colin, but my friends call me Proto Colin, and I am just absolutely delighted to be here at Phil Singapore. Thank you all for coming, and thank you so much to the organizers of Phil Singapore that put together this incredible event. There are over 20, 25 side events that are happening all over, all over uh, the Marina Bay Sands over the next two days, and I'm just super excited to participate in all of them with all of you here today. So thank you very much. I'm here to talk about accelerating Filecoin adoption in a bear market. Now, it is no secret that we are in a bear market today. It brings tremendous challenges to startups and builders and communities around the Web3 ecosystems. But I fundamentally believe it creates tremendous opportunities for resilient communities like Filecoin to accelerate adoption in bear markets and reach the next level of, uh, of adoption. Uh, for those of you that are new to the community, Filecoin is a crypto-powered storage network whose mission is to create a decentralized, efficient, and robust foundation for humanity's information. I simply describe Filecoin as the scalable data storage layer of Web3. But it is not enough for our community to just be the scalable data storage layer of Web3. We want to be the scalable data storage layer of the web at large. And so it's our mission over the coming years to cross the chasm between Web 2 and Web 3, um, which gapes really billions of people from adopting Web 3 tech today. I'm so grateful for Juan for walking through how, the master plan of how to get there as a Filecoin community. Um, but we have to keep in mind that strong layer ones really need to withstand bear markets in order to accomplish their, their maximum objectives. Now the good news is, that our communities have now been through four bear market cycles together. Juan actually founded and started working on IPFS back in 2013 in the depths of the first crypto bear market. He founded Protocol Labs and actually announced IPFS in the next bear market in the depths of 2015, where really crypto was like, you know, at, at one of its lowest points. And then in the last bear market in 2018 and 19, IPFS, lib P2P, became totally mainstream within the crypto community, and Filecoin did its core development and launched uh, in that time period as well. And then, of course, today we're, we're dealing with a yet another bear market. I contend that bear markets are when sustainable ecosystems are built. Anybody can build an ecosystem that seems to be thriving in a bull market when there's lots of hype and capital and lots of excitement across different things, but it's the challenging bear markets where the real communities step up to play. And our protocols and communities have drastically strengthened during bear markets. And I want to walk through just a few examples of how IPFS, LibP2P, and Filecoin did that in the last bear market. IPFS makes the web work peer-to-peer. -peer. It is the data and content platform of Web3. And during the last bear market, it became the default peer-to-peer -peer protocol in Web3. That feels obvious today. Almost all decentralized applications use IPFS in one way or another. But in, in the last bull market, there were three, four, maybe five other protocols that were competing with, with IPFS with, with different communities. And it was the last bear market where IPFS pulled ahead. It did that by growing its network dramatically by 30x in 2019. It drastically improved network performance in 2018 and 19, growing two to, four, uh, two to six x in fetching uh, and, and a whole bunch of content uh, delivery. Um, the first integrations with the browser started during the last bear market with Brave and Opera, and hundreds of applications, tools, and projects launched on top of IPFS as well. And we ran the first IPFS camp, which was absolutely fantastic in Barcelona. LibP2P, uh, which is a modular networking stack for P2P protocols, really took its foothold in the last bear market. Um, it was adopted by Ethereum 2 in, the, in that specification during the last bear market, which was a huge win for the LibP2P uh, Lib community, making it the de facto networking protocol um, in, in Web3 today. It was also adopted by Polkadot and many, many other protocols during that time period. Content routing performance improved uh, a number of times over, and we grew the community very significantly with a major presence across uh, Ethereum and other conferences worldwide. And Filecoin. In the last bear market, we actually built the original Filecoin implementation. The proving systems, DRAND, the fundamental crypto economic primitives, 
And it, we launched one of the most uh, successful test nets in Web3, totaling 400 storage providers and over 200 petabytes of storage, which today feels small, but back then was just absolutely incredible to get started that way uh, as a launch of a network. Um, and we also launched the Falcon Foundation, which I'm super grateful for, for running this incredible event today and many others throughout this year. In bear markets, our communities are known to build, grow, and drive adoption. And in 2002, the start of the bear market at the beginning of the year, the Filecoin community has absolutely doubled down on its adoption. In 2002, since the bear market started, Filecoin has 7.5x client adoption, real data storage on the network. Storage providers and SPs have grown all around the world, in North America, Singapore, Korea, and Hong Kong. The builder's funnel has increased upwards of 2x. The network capabilities of the system, including FDM, hierarchical consensus, and compute over data, is in full development, ready for launch next year. And the community has grown all over the world. And I want to double down on some examples of each of those over the course of this year, just to prove that how resilient and scalable our community really is. Storage client growth since the beginning of the bear market this year has 7.5x in the amount of data onboarded year to date. And that is growing 20% month, month over month, which is incredibly challenging to do. We now have over 1,000 unique clients that have uploaded data to the Filecoin network. 12% of those are over 100 terabytes at scale. Daily committed deals have reached two petabytes a day. That is basically the equivalent of the entire Netflix movie archive being uploaded to Filecoin every month. That is incredibly challenging to do, and our commu community has really grown into that this year during the bear market. And today, over 200 petabytes of storage and 7.7 .7 million active deals are on Filecoin today, making this by far the largest decentralized storage network in Web3, but actually even bigger than some centralized storage networks that are public in the Web2 context today which is absolutely incredible. Um, we have many different data onboarding platforms. The Web3 storage and NFT.storage platforms now have 80,000 users, storing 140 million uploads. Much, much of that has happened during 2002, during the bear market. Estuary, which is a reliable way to upload public data onto Filecoin and pin it to IPFS, has crossed over a petabyte of useful data stored with some incredible names. And large-scale scientific data sets are now relying on Filecoin just in the last few months um, to store hundreds of terabytes of genome data and neutrino data as well. Public data sets like the New York uh, City public record is now stored on Filecoin, and many, many, many more that happened just this year. In 2002, while it was a tough, challenging environment for storage providers, we've seen tremendous growth globally around the world. The number of storage providers in North America grew 89% through Q2 and Q3, the thick of today's bear market. In Hong Kong, plus 42%. Here in Singapore, upwards of plus 30%. And Korea, uh, as well, at 28% growth. The number of storage providers taking real, verified deals has go grown 4x in 2022, reaching 10% of the total number of storage providers in the network, and greatly accelerating every month. We have a long way to go, but this is an incredible start to over the last 12 months. And storage providers that have reached 75% of their verified data per node has grown by 5x year to date. These are storage providers that are betting their entire operations on storing verified deals, which is incredibly positive for the Filecoin network. In 2022, Filecoin set the standard for renewable, renewable energy data. In 2022, Filecoin has bought more than 1.8 terawatts of renewable energy, enough to power 160 houses for a year. And it's our goal to get to carbon neutral or even carbon negative uh, footprint for the Filecoin network through the Filecoin Green Initiative. Builder growth in 2022 was also very uh, significant. We onboarded about 30,000 builders through hackathons throughout the year, of which 7,000 developers submitted 2,800 projects that were built on IPFS and Filecoin, giving them exposure to the technology and many of them progressing to really launch those startups in a meaningful way. If you want to uh, contribute to some of the hackathons, please visit this website. 
Over $12 million in developer grants were funding, uh, for funding has been approved in 2022, ranging from Filecoin dev grants to micro grants that really just help builders uh, get up to speed. And 175 new startups have graduated from one of our many accelerator programs with three months of mentorship, seed capital funding, and together they've actually raised over $100 million in seed capital during the bear market, which is absolutely remarkable. There are now nearly 500 total funded startups building in the Filecoin and IPFS ecosystems, many of which are different stages from seed to series D. And we want to continue accelerating that during the bear market today. Um, Filecoin and IPFS continue to actively support top Web3 projects. We've made a number of announcements. And Filecoin is coming to game engines like Unity, which is incredibly exciting. And of course, we launched Filecoin natively in the Brave wallet, which has given Filecoin access to over 50 million users uh, that use Brave daily, uh, which is absolutely incredible. There are also a number of new network capabilities that have been developed in 2022 that are launching in early 2023. Fal uh, Juan mentioned many of these during our network roadmap, but I'll emphasize them. Filecoin Virtual Machine, which launches smart contracts and programmability, is an absolute game changer for the Filecoin network. It will enable a multi-billion dollar DeFi economy to form around storage providers, uh, which is already thriving today, but has some friction between st uh, storage providers who need collateral and token holders um, that are willing to fund. It will also enable perpetual storage and auto-renewing deals, and the EVM compatibility of the FEM will allow developers to port over contracts very easily from the uh, Ethereum network. There are over 25 builders building on the testnet today, and that's going to ramp to several hundred before the FEM officially launches in Q1. Compute over data has been in development all year. And this is a really, really exciting move for the Filecoin network because it brings a whole bunch of usefulness to the data that stores on the Filecoin as part of the master plan. This goal for compute over data is to enable large scale Web3 applications, think like Twitter or Twitch, to process data just as they would in the Web2 context onto Filecoin itself. And next generation scalability through consensus breakthroughs, hierarchical consensus could actually move from a few hundred transactions per second on a blockchain to many, many billions, which is absolutely what Filecoin needs to really achieve that um, crossing of the chasm, moving you know, billions of users into a Web3 context. And so just to emphasize the Filecoin strategy that Juan just went through, in 2020, 2021, there was a massive scale hardware deployment, which was core to the strategy, onboarding storage all over around the world. In 2021, 2022, we focused on BD and onboarding, and that's gonna continue into the future to bring useful storage to the Filecoin network. And in 2022, 2023, this is where software enablement comes in with FEM, compute over data, next generation scalability, so that we can uh, bring maximum utility to all the storage and data on Filecoin today. In 2022, during the bear market, our communities grew very actively with events all over the world. The Filecoin Orbit program had 44 events year to date in 17 cities, uh, totaling 4,400 attendees and 50 ambassadors contributing actively to this effort. We had major conferences in Phil Austin, in Korea, in Lagos, in Singapore here this weekend or this week. And we're having the first ever, ever Phil.VC event this afternoon, which matches 25 startups pitching to over 300 investors. And of course, Phil Lisbon is happening in October and early November. Please join for that as well. Now, as we enter this bear market um, through this year, we've had tremendous success continuing to grow Filecoin adoption. But I, I want to leave everyone in this room and our Filecoin community at large with a few pieces of advice to the growing Filecoin community during this bear market. One, please focus on adoption metrics and ignore the noise. All the other bear markets to date have focused on a lot of different narratives that really muddy the waters for the crypto ecosystem. And if we as a community really focus on the adoption metrics that matter, crossing the chasm from Web 2 to Web 3 and onboarding real storage and real use cases of the Filecoin network, that, that is really what matters and what's gonna propel us to the next bull market and um, make Filecoin ultimately successful in the, in the, uh, in the long term. Two, for startups, for storage providers in the ecosystem, and for our communities at large, 
prioritize on getting really, really good at fundraising for your teams. You know, I, I uh, had an interesting stat from Sequoia, which did a, an analysis of their portfolio over the last 40 years. And their top 20 investments actually happened during bear markets, all of them. You know, think, think of like Apple in the early 80s, Google in the early 2000s after the tech crash, Uber, Airbnb after the great financial crisis. And the good news is that VCs have over $290 billion of dry powder that was raised in the last bull market that they're going to be deploying over the next few years. And so as a community, we have to get really, really good at pitching to investors, growing money for our startups and storage providers so we can expand during the spare market. The good news is there's tremendous interest in the Filecoin ecosystem. In Phil.VC alone this afternoon, um, over 300 investors from all over the world are coming to see your uh, start startups building on Filecoin pitch, which is a great, great start. But our community has to own those pitches and drive uh, that capital raise during this bear market as well. And then finally, uh, bear markets are the best time for builders to cross the chasm. Um, the last 10 successful startups that were founded during the Great uh, Recession were, you know, tremendous, um, you know, in innovations that cross the chasm in their own right. And I believe our communities can really rally around uh, building during bear markets as well. I'm betting on the Filecoin community to, to generate its scale and its 2022 adoption track record to propel us through this bear market. And so let's think about Filecoin not only as the data, uh, scalable data storage layer of Web3, let's think about making that the scalable data storage layer of the web at large. Thank you very much, and uh, see you at the Singapore.